In this tutorial, we're going to talk about variables in Java. We use variables to temporarily store data in computer's memory. Here is an example. Imagine in this program, you want to store someone's age in the memory. So we declare a variable like this, int age equals 30. So int or integer is the type of this variable. So in this variable, we can only store integers, which are whole numbers, like one, two, three, four, numbers that don't have a decimal point. Now in Java, we have several different types. I'm going to talk about them in the next tutorial. So first we specify the type of our variable. Then we give it a name or a label. This is also called an identifier because we use it to identify our variable. This equal sign is called the assignment operator and 30 is the initial value that we are assigning to this variable. So we say on line six, we're initializing this variable, which means we're giving it an initial value. We always have to initialize our variables before reading them. So with this line, we're storing number 30 somewhere in computer's memory, and we're assigning this label to that memory location. Now on line seven, instead of printing hello world, we can print the value of the age variable. Take a look. So I'm going to run this program using control and R. There you go. Now we see 30 on the terminal. Beautiful. We can also change the value of our variable. So after we initialize it, perhaps we can change it to 35. Now when we run this program again, we see 35. Beautiful. We can also initialize multiple variables on the same line, but this is something that I don't recommend because it makes your code ugly and hard to read. Here is an example. We can declare another variable like temperature and set it to 20. So using a comma, we can declare multiple variables on the same line. Now, even though this is technically possible, it's not something that I recommend. So it's always better to declare one variable on each line like this. We can also copy the value of one variable into another. Here is an example. Let me delete these variables and declare a new variable called my age. We set it to 30 and then we declare another variable like her age and we set it to my age. So now when we print her age, we're going to see 30. Take a look. So on line seven, we're copying the value of this variable into this other variable. Now, one thing I want you to pay attention to here is the convention I have used for naming our variables. As I told you before, this is called the camel case notation. So we should capitalize the first letter of every word except the first word. So in this case, the first word, my, it's all in lowercase, but the second word starts with a capital letter. So this is all about declaring and initializing variables. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about various types in Java.